everybody and welcome back. Finally, it's time for us to implement all that we have learned so far. So as I said, first we will be making a basic fundamental bot that uses prompt as well as knowledge base. So let's get started. So for creating your own GPT, you need to have a GPT-4 account. That is the paid plan of ChatGPT. So if you don't have it, please buy it. Otherwise, if you have it, let's go to the Explore tab and then here you can see you will see all the bots that you have made and then here you will see the ones that ChatGPT has made so these are the ones made by openai right so such creative ideas right now coming back here you need to click on create a gpt right so here it is this is our gpt builder here we will be giving all the prompts and everything and here is the configure tab we can change the backend stuff of it. Like we can add actions, knowledge base, capabilities, etc. And as we will be building, we can preview the bot here. And once we're done with both of these, we will be able to publish it. So let's get started. So the first thing is that we want to tell it what exactly do we need to build. We will be building a fitness plan generator bot so you will hear from that you are an ai agent that generates fitness plans for the users then you can add some more instructions like you engage with them you gather information about them and then based on the knowledge base, you curate a fitness plan for them. So easy and simple. It's about two lines. Now this is the part where the GPT would be updating itself. So basically it would be adding the instructions here automatically. We don't need to add it. So let's wait for some time. Okay, so it's updated. Now it's time for us to give the GPT a name. See, it will give us recommendations. If we like it, we can keep it. If not, we can ask it to have another one. So here it is saying fit plan creator. So it seems fine to me, but still let's say that, um, you know, give me some other names. Okay, so here are four of them. Let me select workout wizard, right? So I'll say, let's go with workout wizard. Okay, so it will be now updating the name and generating the profile picture. So it generates the profile picture using DALI. Okay, so this is the picture that it has generated using DALI. If you want, we can change it here. So if you just click here, you can either upload a photo from your own system or you could use DALI to, you know, generate another one. So let me use DALI. In the meantime, if you notice, we have the description, instructions, conversation starters already. So if you want, you can change it from here. If not, we can keep it like this. So this is the image that it has generated and it doesn't resonate with the idea of the bot. So let me say that no, change the image. And now I can give it some instructions about how I want the image to look like. Now here, if you want, you can add more instructions, but I think that this is good for now. Now again, it generates the profile picture for us. Till then, let's read this stuff. So it's an AI fitness coach that creates personalized workout and nutrition plans. And these are the conversation starters. Basically, once the person clicks one of them, the conversation starts. Okay, not bad, but again, not resonating. So I'll again ask it to change it.
Okay, so I told it to make an emoji with muscles and this is what it came up with. So it's a muscular emoji. It's not that good, but again, it's cute. Let's keep this one. So I'll say, okay, looks good. Let's move forward. Now it will be asking us a few questions so that it knows what we are expecting from it. So the first question it has asked is, when it comes to providing fitness advice, what kind of information should it prioritize? For example, should it focus more on exercises, nutrition, or a balance of both? And how detailed should the plan be? So I'll say that I want it to generate a step-by-step fitness plan that stresses over exercises and also suggests food and nutrition ideas okay isn't it so simple to create the bot you just need to talk with gpt builder and your bot is made no coding no workflows nothing so easy and simple okay so now would you like to add any specific guidelines or styles how the bot communicates for example should it be motivational or more factual or straightforward so i'll say it should be it should be friendly and motivational just like a fitness coach Is there anything else you'd like to add or adjust? For example, any specific phrases or any type of encouragement? So not this, but I would like it to, you know, ask the users a few questions before it gives the entire plan. So I'll say it must ask the user about their current health status, like weight, height, their goal etc and then only curate a personalized fitness plan for them that is step by step so yeah Okay, so all is good for now. Now, if we come to the configure tab, we can see the name, the description. If you want to change it, you can do so. You can also go through the instructions once so that it matches with what you need. So I'll go through it. Okay, very nice. And it has also mentioned to avoid any medical advices and that's a very great thing. Now here we can change the conversation starters. And here we can upload the knowledge base. These are the capabilities of the bot. Do we want it to do web browsing? Do we want image generation code interpreter? So basically we don't want code interpreter or DALI right here because it's not required in this particular bot. So I'll untick these ones and here is where we can create the actions. So in the previous video, I told you that the three components are prompt. So prompt goes here knowledge base that goes here and instructions are also a part of the knowledge base itself and then actions that are here. So in this board, since we're using knowledge base and prompt, so the prompt part is done. Now it's time to add the knowledge base. But for that, we need to make the knowledge base first. So we will save it only to me and confirm it. Okay. Now we will go to our GPT-4, so you can click on Child GPT. Now in the plugin store, you need to download this particular plugin, that is Doc Maker A+. You can have another one as well, but I prefer this one. 
Now, once that is done, we need to instruct it to create a document that serves as a knowledge source for my GPD. That is a fitness plan generator. Now, let's add more instructions. Keep the document precise stress more over exercises but also add nutrition information Okay, great. So now we'll click on this link and it shall redirect us here. Okay, so let's read it. Okay, so it's a two page document that tells about the exercises and then the nutrition. Okay, so it's a two page document made by ChatGPT and it's good for the bot that we are making. But yeah, the more the knowledge base, the better the bot. Okay, so now we'll click on this download drop down and we will download the PDF. Now let's go back to our bot. We will go to explore again. Since we have the knowledge base ready, this time we will click on edit and we will go to configure tab. Right here, we will click on this button that says upload files and now we will upload the file that has been downloaded just now. Okay, great. So it has been uploaded here. So I'll quickly summarize the stuff here. So this is the profile picture. You can upload it from your device or you can use Dali. You can change the name here. It will automatically get updated here. You can also change the description. So this description is shown to the users right here, right? So you can change it if you don't like it. These are the instructions for the bot. These are the conversation starters. If you want, you can remove them. You can add more. There's no need to keep only four. You can even have two, you can have six. That's not an issue. Here we can upload knowledge base files. So the better the knowledge base, the better the bot. You can upload many files so that, you know, the bot is trained on more data. Here are the capabilities for the bot. So for our bot, I don't think these two are required. So I've unticked them. Even web browsing is not required, but still I'll keep it. And here is the part where we add the actions that are the APIs. This is the part that we will explore in the next bot of ours. In this bot, we are just using prompts and knowledge base. Now, if you want to change anything about the bot, maybe the tone, maybe the response, output, anything, you just need to type it here. Once it's done, you have to click on update and confirm. Okay, so now talking about deployment. So you can either use it yourself only and keep it up to you. If you want people to use it, you can select the second option. And the third option is about the GPT marketplace that you must have been hearing. So very soon they will have a GPT marketplace for all these custom GPTs. That's when we will be able to use the third one as well. For this one, I'll say only me and I'll confirm it. And it's done. So let's go to view GPT and we are here. So let's start it. I'll not start with the conversation starters. I'll just say a hi or a hey. Okay, so it says, hello, I'm Workout Wizard, your AI fitness coach. How can I assist you on your fitness journey today? Are you looking to start a new workout plan or do you have specific fitness goals in mind? So I'll say that 
I'm new to fitness. I want to lose weight. Okay, so now this is the part that it's asking us for our current information that is weight, height, and other questions. So it's asking about four questions here so that it can give us the personalized plan. So I'll add something random here. Okay, so this is the information that I've given. Now based on my information, it will be giving me a personalized plan. Great, so it has made the entire plan for us just in seconds. As you can see, as I said, jogging is my favorite. So it has prioritized it. Then it has given me exercises. Then some advice for rest days. Now, as I said that I'm a vegan, it has given me all vegan options, right? Now, here are some more tips and that's it. Now, if you want to change anything for the board, if you don't like anything, you can again come here to the explore tab and edit it and just tell it what you want to change. But I like the board, so let's not disturb ChatGPT Builder and let's come back to the board. Okay, so it's here. Now, if you want to chat more, you can do so. So let's say that I have a few questions in mind. So I'll say that I get tired when I do 30 minute job. Now let's see what it tells us. Great, so it has entirely changed my jogging plan since I said that I won't be able to do 30 minutes. So that's a very good thing about it. And I really like the board. So with this, we're done with the first board of ours. Now in the second one, we will be doing third party API integrations using actions. And that's where things get really exciting, advanced and complex as well. So see you then. Okay, bye.